In the mountains of northern Thailand, remote villages are home to more than half a million people, known as the hill tribes. For the most part, they are subsistence farmers, cultivating just enough in the patchy mountain terraces to feed themselves and their families. And because the Thai government lacks the resources to help them, they have very little access to education or medical care. When debilitating accidents occur, or disabled children are born needing special attention, many families are faced with an impossible dilemma. Go out to grow rice for the family at the risk of the child, or stay at home as a caretaker and perhaps starve at harvest time. As a result, disabled children are often considered cursed. Many are hidden away by their families out of shame or simply because the parents don't know what to do for them. Some are even left out to die. The mission of the Christian Center for the Development of People with Disabilities, or CDPD, is to find these children and teach them how to take care of themselves and one day live independently. The CDPD works with almost 300 clients spread across 5,000 square miles. Most of them are initially encountered by Christian evangelists who travel through the hill tribes to preach. The CDPD acts as a partner to the evangelists who report these cases to Salo, the CDPD's director. Salo then leads a team out to that village to initiate with the family. Many villages are several hours away and the mountain passes are dangerous. A specially outfitted truck allows them to ford rivers and traverse muddy switchbacks. Sometimes, avalanches bar the road ahead and the team must walk the rest of the way, carrying their medical and personal gear. When the team arrives at a client's home, a therapist does some activities with the child and does her best to assess the child's developmental level, physical condition, and therapy needs. Since time constraints and road conditions only permit a few visits per year to each client, the CDPD leaves parents with a home program of physical exercises and learning activities they can do to help the child until the next visit. The CDPD's handyman, Arun, will also design specialized furniture for children, as well as help adapt the homes or vehicles of older clients to facilitate their mobility and independence. Taking care of disabled children is difficult for parents in a hand-to-mouth economy. Instead of working in the rice paddies with the rest of the family, a mother has to stay home and raise her child. Usually, the depleted workforce leaves the family without enough food at the end of the year. In order to help the family meet this need, the CDPD teaches vocational trades to stay-at-home moms, such as weaving, sewing, beading, and other local handicrafts. They then provide the necessary tools and materials and sell the finished products in the city, giving all the funds to the family so they can buy more food to supplement the harvest. The CDPD also teaches a course on giving traditional Thai massages and leaves their students with certification to practice after it is completed. All of these things can be done at home, but the CDPD also has a vocational center and a massage clinic on site for anyone who wants to use it. There is also a daily preschool for students of all ages with mental and physical disabilities. When students are ready, the CDPD refers them to a nearby integrated school where they can receive ongoing education among their peers. Additionally, a scholarship program helps to send blind and deaf students to Chiang Mai for vocational training or higher education. The CDPD continues these initiatives year-round in their local community and throughout the province. Their vision is that disabled people be understood, treated with dignity, and themselves become independent and contributing members in society.